Great grind day, great grind day. This is your daily grind. Listen, want to share something with y'all. Um, I was, uh, me and my son, my older son, we were going back and forth on text. Uh, I think it might have been a few days ago, and um, he was sharing with me. He was showing me uh, a couple of pics that I had uh, up in the barbershop, in the last barbershop that we had. One of them is me in uh, 10th or 11th grade uh, basketball and um, just some other stuff that I had up at the shop um, when we had the shop. And, you know, it was just going back and forth, and I was in my head taking this, this stroll down memory lane about how phenomenal those days were um, in the shop, cutting the hair. Um, phenomenal time like that. that. That's a huge part of my life. And so um, the other day, hell, it might have been yesterday or the day before, um, I looked at he, he had dropped a post uh, with this barber chair. And um, in the post, he was saying, look, free chair, free barber chair, whatever. And I'm like, what? And it was the it was the last chair that I bought um, that when I retired, I gave to him. Um, but it was the first real old school like barber chair that I had ever bought. Right. Um, it was the first real chair. And that chair has so many memories. Right. He even showed in his um, Facebook piece about the first clippers that I gave him when he was like 13, when he was 13 years old, the first pair of clippers I gave him. And so um, uh, I, I, I replied back to the post and I said, yo, um, nah, don't give the chair away. I want it. I'm going to come get it or whatever. And um, I called him and uh, he said, man, uh, somebody actually came and picked the chair up. I said, let me get my man's number. And he sent me the number of the guy and I called him up, man. Shout out to, to my man. I appreciate that. But I called him up and I said, man, I want to keep the chair. Um, I'll buy you another chair. Um, that it's just too much sentimental value. Like it's too many phenomenal, great memories that come from that chair. Lessons learned from behind that chair, the whole thing. And um, so he said, "Bruh, I'll be more than happy to bring you the chair." So today I'm at the office. Now he met me here at the office and he brought me this chair. And I'm getting choked up even now as I'm talking about it because that chair not only has so many memories from that chair but there's so many memories for me from what I learned behind the chair and even sitting in the chair from doing all the conversations that I had in the chair. I'm saying all this to say to y'all, like there's something in your life. There's been an experience in your life. There's been a season in your life that weighs heavily on how you became the woman or the man that you are today. Uh, a life experience, um, something that happened, good, bad, or indifferent, that holds major memories. Though that barber chair and my time in the shop has been one of the most powerful times in my life and I wanna hold on to all those memories. My sons grew up in the barber shop. My kids grew up in the barber shop. I grew up in the barber shop. And I don't mean physically grew up, I mean matured in the barber shop. It's in that barber shop where I learned leadership, not at no school. It's in that barber shop where I learned business right the basic business principles it's in that barbershop where i learned how to personally connect with people it's in that barbershop where i realized what my strengths were and so for you think about what your barbershop was i want you to think about what those times in your life were when those times in your life were and how they helped you to become the phenomenal woman or man that you are today and that you're going to become and when you realize what it is hold on to those memories y'all have a great grand day from behind the chair we talk soon.